So as you heard, I went to military school. I went to Valley Forge Military Academy, and that is a school that's known for producing leaders. Most of our graduates go on to some of the nation's top military schools. They become very influential in politics and culture. Our graduates include people like John McCain, J.D. Salinger, Norman Schwarzkopf, and Greg Offner. Now, I will admit, if you saw me junior year at this school, you would have agreed I had no shot of being like any of those individuals. In fact, I was the worst behaved cadet my junior year. I had set the school record for punishment tours. A tour is equal to one hour of marching. And in the first two weeks of my junior year, I was awarded, awarded, I love how they say that, you were awarded tours for a misbehavior. I was awarded 150 punishment tours. 150 tours. Now, a tour is equal to an hour of marching. And this is in August, in the Pennsylvania heat, in an all-wool uniform, 150 hours of marching around on a massive blacktop area, our parade deck. I was not excited about this. And one of the senior cadets at the school, his name was Frank, he knew I wasn't excited and he decided to intervene. And see, sometimes eureka moments are actually interventions. They don't come from within, they come from outside of us. They're moments of inspiration that we give to another person. I didn't know it, but Frank was about to give me my first ever eureka moment. Frank said, Offner, because everybody there called, we called each other by our last name. He said, Offner, I bet you're upset right now. I bet you're super unhappy because you're seeing 150 hours of marching and you're not happy about it. And I said, yeah, Frank, you're right, I am. He said, I also bet that you look at this as a tremendous waste of time, that you've got to spend 150 hours just marching around in a square. And I said, yeah, Frank, you're right. He said, well, you know what? All of the people who have to supervise you, the senior cadets, the staff and faculty members, they see you as a waste of time. They see you as somebody that hasn't learned in three years how to fit into the system, how to contribute, how to make an impact in a positive way. They see you as someone that's only making an impact in a negative way. And I bet if you go out there with that attitude that this is a waste of time, they're going to continue to see you as a waste of time, and this is going to be a real challenging year for you. I didn't know if Frank was trying to make me feel worse, but I felt worse. And he said, but I also think there's another way to look at this. I leaned in because I, I desperately wanted another way to look at this. See, I wasn't a bad cadet. Not in here. I just hadn't found my way to make an impact. I hadn't found my way to contribute to the system. I kept seeing all of these things around me, these daily experiences as negative things happening to me. But Frank was about to change my mind. Here's what he said next. He said, Offner, I believe you've been given an opportunity in disguise. The way I see it, you have 150 hours where these senior leaders and these senior cadets have to pay attention to you. They have to watch and they have to listen. He said, Offner, I bet if you go out there and you show up early for every tour formation, I bet if you go out there and you are impeccably dressed, not a flaw to be found with your uniform. He said, Offner, I bet if you go out there and march better than you've ever marched before, that you can change their minds. I don't think this is a punishment. I think you've been given an opportunity. So many times this happens to us, to the people we're responsible for leading, that we're given opportunities that may not look like opportunities in the moment. They may look like travesties, may look like a punishment, may look like failure. Our job, your job as leaders, is to help your people find that eureka moment, to see the opportunity within the struggle. 